step rig step here. That looks better. You ever have that leftover roast beef dinner? Yeah, sometimes you do. Hard to believe, but I do too. Okay, what we're going to do with some of that leftover roast beef dinner is make, uh, I want to call it a cottage pie because it's not really a shepherd's pie because I'm not a shepherd, but I'm a cottage. <laughs> okay, no, I'm a chef, so let's call it a chef's pie. Leftover pie, call it what you want. You're making it. So I've got a lot of my leftover beef roast here. I've got some, I've got the meat that I kind of chunked up into pieces. I got some potato, I got some carrots, and a whole lot of sauce. So what we're going to do is, we're gonna take our little baking device here, and we're just gonna dump a whole bunch of this in there. Feel free to uh, fill it, splatter it, whatever, because you're still gonna eat it. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna fill it about halfway full right there because I've got some extras. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of peas, about a cup's worth for this portion, all right? And also some corn for some color, a little extra starch, in it goes. We're gonna just take and we're gonna stir that all around. It's gonna be like a pot pie, whatever, all kinds of good vegetables in there. Get it good and mixed around so that when you do serve it and eat it, everybody gets a little bit of everything. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty darn good. I even chopped up some carrots, nice good sizes. Oh yeah. That looks good enough to eat just the way it is, doesn't it? However, we've also got some mashed potatoes, creamy, buttery mashed potatoes. I've added a lot of butter, some milk in there. Get them good, and um, let's clean off that spoon a little bit. We don't want to contaminate the top part of the potatoes. So we're just going to take some, and we're going to just spoon chunks of it in here. Look at that, just like that. Just like that. Yeah, this is this is turning out great. Just gonna cover this best we can. Now a lot of this is already cooked. As you saw, the, the leftover beef roast is already cooked. I'm not using hamburger. I'm using leftover beef roast. We're gonna, this is getting pretty full. We're gonna, we're gonna stop right there. Our goal is to not cook this through because everything's already cooked. We just wanna heat it up. Heat it through and kind of brown the tops of the mashed potatoes. So we're just kind of making some fun little fancy little swirls here. Look at that. All right, sound effects are free. And of course, you have to lick the spoon. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Oh, it's not polite to go lick your fingers on video. All right. We're going to do... <coughs> uh, excuse me, we're well, almost down the wrong pipe. Too many pipes, you know. I've got the oven going. 350. Preheated. I heard it. It's ready. We're going to take a little break. We're going to put it in the oven. And when it's done, probably about 20 minutes, half an hour maybe. We'll be back. I'll show you what it looks like. Hopefully, everything looks good. See you in a bit. All right.
right, well, we're back. I took it out. It's a little bit brown on there. It's on this uh, hot pan here. Sprinkled a little bit of parsley flakes on it, add some color. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. I got some plates ready here. Let's hold this still, let's take a look. Oh, nice steaming hot, look at that. Can you see that? Can you smell it? Oh yeah. Oh, that's going to be good. Looks good enough to eat. Let's get some more here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks great. That looks great. It's a little bit warm, but let's see what happens. Get a little bit of everything on there. There's some potato, some carrot, and peas, corn, and of course, the beef roast. Mmm, mm hmm That is top notch. That is top notch. That's gonna do. Again, it's your recipe. Play with it the way you want. Add, subtract. You can add rosemary and thyme. Whoops, those are some secrets you're not supposed to know about. Hey, anyways, you have a good, uh, good meal. Peace, love, and vanilla candles. Chef Ribs up. Out.